Not everyone is built to be in cybersecurity and that's just how things are. In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys three different insights that I found after working in my first cybersecurity role for the first six months. And hopefully this video can provide you guys with some clarity on whether or not cybersecurity is a good industry and career for you. Make sure you guys stay until the end of the video because I have a special announcement to celebrate reaching 30,000 subscribers. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ben and I make videos about cybersecurity and what I learn along the way in my lifestyle. So if you're interested in that, please join the family and subscribe and also like the video for the YouTube algorithm. But with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into the video right now and talk about the three insights that I've found. So one of the first insights that I have for you today actually occurred to me within the first three months or so when I started my first job in cybersecurity, and that's going to be feeling a huge feeling of imposter syndrome. And that's a pretty common thing throughout the entire technology industry uh, because of the fact that when you first start your role, um, you're kind of having, basing off your experiences, whether it be internship experience, whether it be certifications or schoolwork, but that's sort of all you have to base off of. And when it comes to performing and getting things done in the actual industry, you're going to have to learn so many new things. And in that beginning phase, you're kind of feeling like you can't really make an impact and you're questioning why you're even there in the first place. You also collaborate and work with people who are incredibly smart and have years and years of experience more than what you do. And that can kind of feel, uh, that can kind of rub off on you in the wrong way uh, if you take it that way. And you might feel out of place at first. And one of the main things that I've done to combat that is to, first of all, understand that I'm on my own journey. I shouldn't be comparing myself to anyone. And the second part to that is going to be embracing the fact that you're brand new to the industry. This means really embracing that you're new and you're not afraid to ask dumb questions because I sure have asked a lot of dumb questions so far in my career. So making sure you're comfortable with that, but also going in there with an open mind and a willingness to learn and being curious and that's going to carry on to my next insight. Like I said before in a bunch of my videos, cybersecurity is a constantly changing industry because hackers and threat groups and uh, APTs are going to continuously change and evolve and innovate the ways in which they try and exploit different vulnerabilities. And it's going to be up to you as a cybersecurity professional to continue to stay up to date. This means continuing to educate yourself, whether it be through certifications or keeping up on uh, different articles and research papers, learning different defense tactics, different attack methods and vectors, depending on what team you're on in cybersecurity. But staying up to date and keeping your skills current and continuing to improve on them is going to be a huge, huge part of being in cybersecurity. So if you're someone who is looking for a job that is comfortable, that maybe you don't want to allocate time to after you're clocked off of work, maybe cybersecurity isn't the right industry for you because cybersecurity, for the most part, whether you're on a non-technical or a technical team, you're gonna to have to allocate some time outside of work to continuously improve on your skills and your technical knowledge and your cybersecurity knowledge as a whole. So continuously learning is something that I've learned to embrace and actually enjoy because it feels like you're always on your toes and you're learning new things all the time. And I think that makes the job really interesting and even more fun than I'd say a normal job that doesn't change at all. So one of the other things that I discovered but I wasn't too familiar with or really how real it was is the fact that when you're on a cybersecurity team, and it really depends on what team you're on, but you can be on call depending on what team you're on. So let's say you work in the security operations center that's 24 seven, or you work within an incident uh, response team. If something happens like an emergency or a breach happens, you're gonna be called in, Yo, know, Ben, can you come into work right now or hop on your laptop um, and get started on an investigation or uh, mitigating certain things. So you may be on call if something happens, but if you're someone like me who's an entry level analyst, you probably won't get called. They probably will call in more senior level people. But as you get more experience throughout the industry and become more senior, then you will be more than likely called in for a certain event if something ends up going down. Now, that hugely depends on what team you're on, but that is a possibility. A lot of roles in cybersecurity are going to be on call. With that being said, though, guys, that is pretty much the three insights that I have so far in my first six months in cybersecurity. 
I'm going to keep doing these sort of update videos about my career and what I've learned throughout my career and see how they change over time and what f new, new insights and findings I can provide you guys. If you found some value in this video, please drop me a like and subscribe to the channel. But with that being said, let me go ahead and announce the special giveaway that I have for you guys to celebrate reaching 30,000 subscribers. So I know a lot of you guys are entry level cybersecurity professionals or people looking to break into the cybersecurity industry and taking that into account, I want to go ahead and give away a security plus 701 exam voucher as a way to celebrate me reaching 30,000 subscribers. So there's going to be three simple steps to enter this giveaway the first step is going to be you must be subscribed to my youtube channel the second step is to follow my new instagram that i created the handle is cyber with ben make sure to follow that account and third step is going to be leave a comment on my giveaway post it'll be the only post that i'll have up you can leave as many comments as you'd like and i'll be using a random comment picker um, and one cho one person will be chosen as the winner. I'll pick the winner on April Fool's Day. I'm so excited to be able to do this for you guys. You guys have shown me so much support throughout the um, the past year. And I want to find a way to give back to you guys and help you guys break into the industry throughout these uh, with these videos and also by providing you with an exam voucher. So good luck to everyone who enters the giveaway. And thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and also watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.